Ah, the front panel connectors. This can be a tricky one, and especially for people that are building a computer for the first time, it can be kind of daunting on these little pins and how you put them in. So today we're gonna to go over each one, what you need to know about them, and how to get them properly connected. Stay tuned. Front I.O. will provide the following for your computer. LED lights in the front for power on status and hard drive activity, power button, reset button, and a small speaker for postcode error beeps. First, you'll need to find the diagram in your motherboard manual, or you can look at the board itself for labels as to which pins you need where. If you look at the end, you'll notice some have a small arrow or triangle on the right or left side. This will indicate the positive end to which you need to line up correctly on the motherboard pin for it to work. Each will have one positive tip and one negative. No need to worry though, if you plug these in backwards, nothing will get damaged. You'll just need to swap them once you notice it's not working. It can be hard to see, so I recommend starting with the back row. So once they're plugged in, it's not going to block any vision of the front row pins. So power SW for mine stands for power switch. And that is going to be providing a connection for my computer's power button to actually tell the computer to turn on. Reset SW is the reset switch, and this is going to provide my case a way to communicate to my computer that it needs to reset. You can also do this obviously in Windows, but if you want the physical button to work, you're going to have to plug in the reset switch. HDD LED, this is going to be the hard disk drive or just your hard drive LED light, and this will tell you whether you are having hard drive activity. So basically, if your hard drive is reading or writing data, that is hard drive activity, and the light will flash. And Power LED actually is split into two on mine, and they are labeled negative and positive on the actual thing itself, so there is no need for an arrow here, and those are self-explanatory. Just like the hard drive LED, these just indicate whether the computer is on or not by providing power to the LED light. And lastly, the speaker is actually a separate component that should be in your motherboard box, and it just plugs in these four over here, and you line up the arrow, and that is it, and you will hear small little beeps from it. In case of a postcode error, so if you have, let's say, faulty RAM perhaps, you'll hear a certain beep combination, and you can look up those beep combinations, long, short, short, for example, and you can actually find out what is going on with your system, what your system is not detecting. A side note, none of these are technically required besides the power button to turn the computer on, and you can still have a fully functioning computer, leaving the majority of these unplugged. And that is the end to yet another explained video. If you guys liked it, please subscribe for more like this. If you have any suggestions or comments or questions, leave them below, and I will see you guys in the next video.